Hi there, it's Therese and I'm here for AlanHudson.com and welcome to the 12 Tags of Christmas. I'm using the Holiday Characters stamp set to create my holiday tag today and I'm starting by stamping out quite a few of the images and I'm using some Tuxedo Black and some Nina 80 pound cardstock because I'm going to be doing some Copic colouring. I wasn't really sure how many or which of the images I was going to use so what I did was stamp out some extra because I figure like this time of year I can always use them on something else so much fun creating holiday cards and tags and tags are something that I never remember to do until I start wrapping I know every year the same thing <laughs> I'm going to have all the marker caps off to the side here and I'm doing some very simple Copic colouring today and I'm only going to share sort of one of the images with you now I've got the reindeer image and this year the 12 tags of Christmas is based on a Christmas carol so do you reckon you can guess which Christmas carol mine is going to be? Mm, you might work it out soon. I'll let you know a little bit later on in the video. So I did actually stamp out some of the baubles here, but I didn't end up using them. I thought, because I was originally thinking about making a bigger tag. I love really big tags. I think that they're really funky. But I changed my mind. I decided to make a smaller gift tag. I figured it's probably going to be more versatile and I just wanted that look like of um, with all these bright colors I wanted it to be happy cheery and not too clean and simple I know I always do such clean and simple designs this one's a little different so this set actually has some coordinating dies and I have die cut all of the images through my Gemini Junior and I love the Gemini for this sort of thing. I would love to get one of those little Gemini Go, is that what they're called? The little ones? Maybe one day. So I've added a pattern using a lawn fawn. It's a stitched wood grain backdrop die. And now I'm cutting an MFT Dynamics gift tag die. And this is a good little set. It's only just been released. It has lots of little dies within the set to do sentiment tags and borders with. And I want to make a tag for this die, for this die, for this gift tag, a sentiment tag for this gift tag. And I'm using the word bright out of a Penny Black set called Merry Builder. And then May Your Days Be, I'm actually going to stamp that out. It's from the Mondo Holly stamp set from Alan Hudson. And I've added some white embossing powder and heat embossing that. And then I can just use the one of these little tags. There's a few different shapes in the set and I liked this round one and it has the little tag hole in there ready to go as well. Now I want to make a wreath out of all the holly that I coloured up before and I thought the easiest way to do this was to create my own circle. So all I did was use a couple of circles and die cut them together to create a small... Um, paper circle and it's uh, just out of the Nina 80 pound again and I've added some liquid glue and then I just want to randomly stick all the holly around the circle I say randomly but I do keep coming back in and moving them around <laughs> it's just not I'm not used to the randomness I think I like the symmetrical I nearly did it so very um, symmetrical but I thought I'd change it up today. Alright, so now I'm going to start putting my tag together. I have die cut a piece of bright pink cardstock into a tag and another piece of white and I'm joining them together. I've also cut one of the like the little toppers for the tag and it has a stitched border, it's quite sweet. And I'm just adhering that to the top of the the wood grain tag that I created and then I'm going to put them all together including my little sentiment and the sentiment's only on um, one layer of cardstock so I thought it'd be good to actually layer that up as well so I did cut a white 
But there's lots, there's so much going on. This is such a small tag. I couldn't believe how much stuff <laughs> I used making something. I think I use less on cards than I have done on this tag. <laughs> but anyway, I've laid them all together and just tying it with a piece of twine. And I thought it'd be fun to add a bow. I don't do many bows anymore, but I just wanted that sort of sitting over the whole just for something different and I did in the end actually add a piece of twine so that I could actually tie it to my gift so you'll probably see that in the photos at the end I've popped up my wreath and also popped up my reindeer and there's only one thing left to do and you already know don't you <laughs> This is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and that's my carol today. If you guessed it, congratulations. You're amazing, but I already knew that. <laughs> so everything I've used today will be listed at the blog and you can find that linked below. Thanks for joining me here today and don't forget to head to Ellen Hudson and see how the carols have inspired us for the 12 tags of Christmas this year. Till next time, bye.